dun 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 all right guys today i'm gonna do something pretty cool i'm gonna mount a new megaware flex step pro on the front of my boat make sure you stay tuned meantime thank you so much for checking out my last video the flw cup the coaster series and more you know i like all reviews i don't mind if you know some of them aren't my opinions and don't agree with me and that's okay we all are value to our opinions and i think that's important that's what's important in this country is to have each other's voice you know without further ado make sure you hit that subscribe button i think it's in it's in this one of these corners I, I think it's that corner though i'm pretty sure it's that corner hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you know every time i post a new video meantime get ready to get your mind blown Oh, no, that ain't gonna work. Nope, that ain't working. Okay. Alright, guys, here she is the Flex Step Pro. This happens to be one of my favorite products from Megaware Kill Guard. What this does is it allows me to get in and out of my boat extremely easy without falling out of it all the time. You know, one thing about it, I have really bad knees. I've had four or five knee surgeries, and I still have the tendency to jump out of the boat, which is absolutely terrible for your knees and, and terrible for your body. Uh, but I use this step anytime I'm trying to get in and, and grabbing something out of my front boxes. I'm going to show you exactly how to mount this thing and demonstrate exactly the usefulness of this step. They should not let me mount stuff. Like, first and foremost, like, I'm probably, I'm that guy that, like, if you need your oil changed, don't call me. Uh, or any of that kind of stuff. Like, I'll probably break something. Yeah, I don't need that. Now, here it is. Here is the Flex Step Pro. This is the mount. It mounts to your trailer. So, I always put mine right, right here which is just outside my Basscat logo and perfect to where I don't hit my boat. I think that's where I put it at least. Best way to do is to put this thing in here and test it. Yeah, I think that's where I put it, right there. So this is what it looks like. This is the part that you stand on. Just like all Megaware products, it comes with everything you pretty much need except the tools. So, all your pieces right here. And the back plate mounts on the back side of the bracket. So, first things first, read the instructions. I know most guys don't read the instructions, but, you know, they are actually useful. So, and Megaware makes it pretty easy on you, and they, they tell you exactly what you need. So, basically, what you need is a 17 millimeter wrench socket and or adjustable wrench and that's it i think i think that's it that ain't bad not a whole lot of components i had one on my, my trailer last year i'm gonna tell you right now i got more compliments on the flex step pro and more people interested in the flex step pro than any other thing on my boat maybe other than maybe garma live scope live scope is kind of a big deal and everybody wanted to know about that but otherwise like I get a lot of questions, man. What's that step on the side of your boat? And I show them and they're like, man, I gotta get me one of those. And there's a good reason for it. We've already got all the tools we need. So basically, we're gonna take this thing, we're gonna place the four bolts through. So we can line this thing up perfectly of where we want it. So right there is where I'm thinking. Okay. So actually, the way this is working out, I can use the middle holes on the bracket. So now that I've adjusted this, I can use middle holes on both the top and the bottom. And it works perfect. Alright, so there we go. Middle holes, just like so. As you can see right there. Alright, and this is a really easy process. So. Basically, what it says to do next, take the four bolts, place them through the mounting bracket line with the, other, the trailer frame. To prevent trailer scratches, use the protective sleeve. 
Yeah, because you don't want to scratch your trailer up, man. These trailers are expensive as hell. I don't care what kind of boats you have. Oh my gosh. They do fit nicely. There ain't no doubt about that. Better. Oh yeah. You want these things to slide on perfect? Get you some WD-40. And these things will slide on like a charm. All you gotta do is fill the, the inside of the, the clear tube with a little bit of WD-40 and roll it together and watch this. All the way on, perfect. Same way with this one. All the way on. There we go. Just like so. All right. So now we're lined up where I want this deal, okay? Next, you get your main body Flex Step Pro and you put it in the exact same bolt holes that you put in on the back side. If you use the middle, use the middle on this side. If you use the bottom, use the bottom. Whatever fits your trailer the best is the ones that you need to use. Oh gosh, oh my gosh. See, this is why people don't let me mount stuff. It's just for this reason. Because I will screw something up. Oh, God. got it. Let's see if I can get this one in. Oh, I got that one in. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Almost. Woohoo! I got it. Did I do that right? I don't know if I did that right. I feel like that's probably not right. I feel like I should have probably gone the other direction. Hmm. Yeah, I think I screwed that up. Don't you think? I think I probably screwed that up. So, I made a boo-boo, guys. Not that I'm really that surprised. But the bolts were supposed to go the other way. See? Everybody wonders why it takes me longer to do things. It's because I really pay attention to detail. I'm really good at this kind of stuff, in case you're wondering. Okay, let's try that again. Let's put it this way. Put the bolt through the middle. Like so. Woohoo! Did that part. See how easy that was? So easy. I just did it wrong the first time just to show you how... how not to do it wrong. See what I'm saying? See what I did there? Put this one on. See, but that's where that WD-40 really does come into play. Like, for real, though. It's because... See how easy that was to get on there? And then you put this on, just like so. Wow. You put this one on. And put the sleeve over it like so oh screwed that one up oh my gosh i got it Woohoo! i feel like i should have worn a medal for that throw in your washer and you start your bolts or your nuts uh-oh like so Yeah, that ain't working. We're getting there. It's not completely tight, but it's fairly tight. So I'm gonna go to the opposite corner and tighten it up. Okay, and we'll go to the corner above it. Oh my gosh, I am not very uh, tech savvy. There is no doubt about this. And all I gotta do is put four bolts on if that tells you anything. Okay, now we'll do the opposite corner of that. Let's tighten it up, good. Go back to that original corner. 
double tighten on both sides. There we go. Let's go to the corner right below that. We'll tight there. And then we'll go to the very top last corner to tighten. And we're good there. Okay. I got it exactly where I want it. Everything's straight. And that's a shock. Because I am... Man. Whew. It's not hard. It really isn't hard. I'm just not very good at stuff. Then... You just got to put this deal on. It has a little pin on it. You put it to the level of what you want it the best. I'm going to say just all the way down like so. Push pin all the way through. And watch this. Pick this deal up. See how it clears my boat. It's at the perfect spot. It's not going to hit even when I load my boat. The reason I know this is because I've done it enough. So if I want to use it, all I have to do is drop this thing down locks into place and voila see and it stores just as easy stores right back into place just like so all right guys we just installed our flex step pro what do you think isn't that thing cool look at that thing look at that what it's at the perfect little place you got plenty of clearance here as you can tell you got plenty of clearance your boat's not going to hit it when you load your trailer it's a perfect little spot. Didn't take very long at all. Appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I also dropped a link for the Flex Step Pro below so you can take a look at it if you have any questions. Drop them below. In the meantime, check out my next video. It's going to be coming soon. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but it's going to be a good one. Appreciate you watching, guys.